Hi everyone, my name is Lurch Donkey and today we're back on the RTS project. So in the last video I did say that we'd kind of go on to this uh, mouse movement instead of following the instead of the view following the player, I should say. Uh, so the moment, yeah, it follows the basic unit and it's very good like that, but it's much better to have like a uh, mouse following because especially if once we have separate units it can be hard to keep track of them and it only follows one unit and it's all a big mess basically um, so all the good rts games should have this i guess um so that's what we're going to do in this video so the first thing we want to do we want to mess around with the views a little bit so uh viewport zero what we're going to do to start with is we're going to take it off being the basic unit for the time being and uh, we're going to change the camera as well so that it doesn't just take up the whole screen so we can test the right and left as well. So all we're going to do is just half these. So now we can test moving around a lot. And if we run that now, we should see that it kind of works. It doesn't move the camera at all, but we're just locked in here. It's quite zoomed in, but everything still works. Okay. Uh, these buttons should also still work. Yep. So the idea uh, now is that we want to be able to move the camera like that. And the best way I've thought of doing this is to make a new object. Uh, it's not probably the best idea. You probably could move it using like building commands and stuff. The way I did it before, I just couldn't get it to work. Um, I think it was something to do with Game Maker 2. I'm not sure though. Uh, it wasn't working when I did it. I couldn't move it. It was causing all sorts of visual bugs. So I think the best way is to use a view object like this. So all we need to do is make sure it's not visible and then just put it in the room. Put it somewhere in the middle. It doesn't really matter, we're going to change that in a minute. The next thing we want to do is in the view ports, we now need to set it to follow that view object. Okay, We're going to make the border uh, zero, 0, so it follows it to the point, basically. Uh, because we've, if we move this, we want to move everything. Okay, So, now we're just going to whip up a bit of code. It's not like, it's not amazing. It's pretty simple. Uh, I'll talk you through it. Basically, to start off with, we're going to use the X in the right direction. So to do this, we just need to get the mouse coordinates, or oh, the GUI mouse coordinates, I should say. And we want to check if they're bigger than, oh, this is a tricky bit because we need to check how far, how uh, wide our view actually is in this case. Um, so I think we can probably use, we can probably use view the viewport for this, I think. Uh, and what we wanna do is say minus 100. So if it's 100 from the right, we're gonna move our object. So we can use here, object view uh, plus equal uh, dot x I should do uh, plus equals let's say one just for the moment so it's just going to move one to the right every time our mouse is kind of in this zone okay you can see it's kind of working right but it sometimes isn't working I think we've reached the edge edge here um, what we're going to do though to make it easier to test um, just before I go on to the next kind of problem almost is we're just going to do the exact same but just have it from the other angle so we're just going to say is it less than 100 and if it is we're going to go the other way basically we're just checking to the left okay and now if we run that we should be able to move both left and right the emphasis there being on should be able to. Now I think the problem here is to do with uh, two things. So first of all, we need to just check what this is at call and back. And the second thing we need to check, and I think this is where the problem lies, is we need to check what this is actually calling back. Because this, if it's working, uh, should be I think 120. And you can see there 960. So it's kind of not going to work. It'll work in the left direction. And then, yeah, it doesn't work all the time. 
So what we actually need to do to replace this is this is where Game Maker 2, I think it does this a bit clumsily, I think. Um, we need to do camera get view width is there. And don't ask me why, why we can't just use this. I'm not really sure. I think in Game Maker uh, 1.6, there used to be view W view and that used to work very well. This doesn't now, but you know, we're going to go with it. So we need to hit use view camera at zero, which will get our uh, first camera or our first view almost. And I think this should give us 120 if we check. Okay, so that gives 120. So now we should be able to check uh, either side. Of course, 120 is not very big. Um, we should be able to see here actually that, uh, actually that's, that is going to 960. So we probably should make it go up to 960 actually, now that I think about it. Uh, so this should be view w port zero. Uh, because it is ranging from 0 and 100 and 960 even. So right on this end you can see it's 0 and over on this end it's 960. But as you can see it should be moving now. It takes a while to kick in, right? So why is it doing that? And this is where I think the, uh, the main problem is. Uh, that was just another small bit. I think the problem is, is that our view.x is kind of shoved in the corner. And it takes a while to get moved out of the corner. So you can see that's 51 at the moment. If we go there, it goes backwards. You see, it shouldn't it shouldn't be able to go into the negative numbers at all. Uh, and that's where it takes a while to come over. Once it's like 120, it moves. Yeah, okay. Also, our player's disappeared. I don't know, I played back over here. And you can see it takes a while to move back, right? So realistically, that shouldn't be happening. And it's a little bit weird. It's a little bit hard to tell what's actually going on. So the easiest way I think to do this is to just, I'm just going to quickly make a new sprite. Actually. Make a new sprite. We're just going to call it dot. And it is literally just going to be a dot in the center. It's kind of roughly in the center. Yeah, it's close enough. Uh, and now we're just going to see where that dot actually is. So we tick visible again. Uh, you don't have to do this. It's just kind of a nice way of debugging, I guess. We probably shouldn't have made it in white. That was a really bad idea, actually. Um, <laughs> let's change that. Let's make it a bit bigger as well, so it's a bit easy to see. OK, so let's, let's just whatever. OK. We're just doing white for the time being. That's pretty big. We should be able to see that. Okay. Uh, it's slightly off centered as well. But oh well. Uh, and we need to change the object to be on the top. And I think in Game Maker 2, that's in here, is it? Drag it to the top, maybe? Nope. <laughs> depth, oh, there you go, depth. Uh, let's make it like a really big minus number that should put it definitely on the top. Okay, that's actually got rid of everything else, apparently, somehow. Maybe not that big a number. Maybe minus a thousand. That's still managed to get rid of everything else. Maybe that's not, yeah, that's not for this, <laughs> whoops. Um, yeah, object view. I'm really not sure how you do that, actually. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm not really sure how you make it so that it is displayed on top. I know that sounds pretty bad, but I actually don't have a clue. Right. <laughs> um. Let's think this through then a little bit. 
So let's just have a quick check of viewport. Let's change our horizontal speed to like 100 or something stupid. Just so that it moves like instantly. Yeah, see, so it's still taking a long time before it moves. I know what we need to do. Let's change the borders to be a lot bigger. Um, let's change the border. Yeah, I should have done this a while back, actually. If it's a border zero, I didn't have, not quite thinking properly. If the border zero, it means that only it moves once it hits this border here. If the border's like a lot more, it'll move a lot more. Uh, the only thing we need to be careful of is that it doesn't go more than half of this, so it should be 60 on the X and 50, I think, on the Y. And let's give that a go. Okay, there we go. Right. But you can still see there, if we move over along with this way, it takes a while for it to move back. Okay, we can ignore the whole drawing bit then. We can just... I'm Okay, yeah, never mind. Never mind. Uh, it was just me not doing that. Okay. Right, <laughs> anyway, back to this then. I guess. Um... I should be able to show you. Oh, it's, it's still kind of underneath. Uh, what if we move it to the bottom? There we go. Right, now we should be able to show you. Yeah, okay. So you can see if we move it over here, um, the problem is that at the moment the view is kind of here, right? So the view is not is focused on it, but not like right. And you can see there, now it's in the middle. Alright? And then we when we move back over here, because it doesn't want to go outside the room, it stops at here. And we can just keep going off and off and off and off. So what we want to do is limit that so that it's only be able to move within a certain range. Um, or the other way we can do it is in this if statement here, we can say and object view dot x is got to be um, so this is the moving left, it's got to be greater than, and this is the tricky bit, this is where we need to do camera get view width, view camera zero, and this will just get us um, the value that we put in further down. This is going to be a slightly longer video as well, by the way, uh, just because I want to get this done. Yeah, this will get the value here. So we want to make sure it's never half than that, half of that. It's never less than half of that. So here, if we do this, divided by two, that should now work for the left. Anyway, um, that should, there you go, it's locked in at 60. Can't go further than 60. Okay. Now all we need to do, uh, and just to just to clarify, you guys know what that means. This code is just getting the this value down here. This is really annoying, by the way. It's getting this value, the width, uh, by using camera get width, and this is just referring to our view camera zero, which is the the view number basically. And then divided by two just means it's in the center, uh, or it should always be in the center. So here we can do pretty much exactly the same. Uh, let's just take this actually. And, uh, and let's make sure it's less than view no, room width minus that, maybe. We'll see. I don't sound very sure about that. Okay, let's. That's really weird actually. I don't know why it's okay. Why is it doing that then? That's really weird. It doesn't seem to pick it up until you go like outside the room. I think that's to do with this code. Oh, okay. That's ten. That's why. That should be a hundred. Never mind. Um, yeah, so now if we go over here, it should lock us out before we reach the end. That's the edge there, 180, and we can't move anymore.
so we can move now the camera like to and forth like this uh, what we can do now is just get rid of this make it invisible again and that will work a little bit more like a proper view from side to side anyway yep okay um, you can mess around with the speed as well if you want to guys um, but the next thing we need to do is just make sure this works the same for the uh, up and down so we can't use this in a else if because we want to be able to move diagonally as well so let's just really quickly uh, do this it's probably going to be about 20 minutes or so but anyway uh, we want to get the y coordinates of this and we want to make sure that they are if we're moving up they're going to be oh no let's do down first because we did that we did right in the other way makes sense so exactly the same but just for the y here so everything that's up there that's for the x is just changing uh, literally everything else is the same so we can pretty much copy this because it's really long um, change this to height and then we're pretty much done with that uh, we just need to make sure here the object view.y is plus equals 1 we might have to change that I'm not sure and then here we're just going to copy this again it's literally the same I'm going to full screen this so you guys can see uh, just change everything that's an x to a y everything that's a, height, a width to a height you know all that stuff hopefully by now you guys should be able to kind of do that yourself um, we're quite far in but anyway let's give it a go that's the code there as well if you want to pause it um, take a photo of it you can definitely uh, copy it down have a read of it see if you understand it if you do great if you don't you can just comment I'll be happy to help but you can see here we're moving up and down you can move diagonally as well which is pretty cool um, until you reach the corners so yeah that's kind of the ideal movement that you can have and like here you can move it around obviously ideally you want to be able to move the camera quicker than we can move the players all you need to do if you want to change that is change all these ones I mean you could as well here, here get rid of that have like var speed uh, var speed equals like 5 let's say and then wherever there's a 1 just change it to speed this would be a nicer way of doing it more future proof don't ask by the way why this is all offline but now we should be able to move the camera at lightning speed <laughs> okay that's maybe a little bit too quick but at least now you can like mess around with it um, the unit separation means we can send this unit off here and we can then get this unit and send him off like down here we can get this unit and send him to do that and all the time everyone's doing their, their stuff so he's mining that up here he's mining like that and you know it's starting to flesh out and be more like a real game I think at the moment guys I think I'm probably going to leave this uh, here. I might do a little cleaning up in the next video and kind of talk about where I'm going after that. But I think this series is pretty much done. We've reached a point where we've got unit separation, which is something I really wanted to do. We've got buildings. We've got um, enemies that follow us and have different states. We've got the movement of the view and stuff. Um, and to be honest this has been kind of going on for a while I want to close it off and make sure it's not incredibly long and it's definitely got like a solid foundation now so I'll probably do another video just in there to close off so anyway that's going to be it for this video if you liked this video remember to like, subscribe or do you guys want to do and I'll talk to you in the next one